purpose of the Clearwater is to clean up the river. Almost exactly 100 years ago, a man in Beacon uh, from an old Dutch family, the Verplank family, admired the Hudson River sloops which sailed up and down the river. They had 400 boats about 60 to 90 feet long with one single mast that makes a sloop. And among other things, he said, these are the most beautiful boats we ever knew and they'll never be seen again. I read this book and wrote a letter to a friend of mine, Vic Schwartz was his name, wonderful man, he said, nobody we know has the money to build one of these boats, it would cost a huge amount, but if we got a thousand people together and everybody chipped in, we could have it and we could take turns sailing it. It's going to be a little middle class cooperative. And during the next year, I sang here and I sang there, raised a few thousand dollars. Arlo Guthrie, the third year, was our guest star. Now we had 6,000 people came, and someone stood on the stage and said, who'll contribute $500? Who'll contribute $100? And we had $30,000 pledged now. And up in Maine, we'd found a builder, old Harvey Gamage in his 70s. Was, he'd made, probably in his lifetime, not just dozens, but hundreds of big wooden boats. So we went up to Maine, and we laid the keel in October of 68, and in May it was launched. Mary Travers of Peter, Paul and Mary says, Pete, what are you building a boat for? There's a war on. This is a distraction. And all I could say, well, we're not aiming just to sail it. We want to clean up the river. It began with a, let's get the world acquainted with the river and understand how special this river is. We did that in a number of ways, through celebration on the river via the Great Hudson River Revival Festival, of teaching people about the river and celebrating its spiritual and emotional strength. We did that via education. We've had a half a million kids on that boat who are mostly adults now. We've done it through environmental action where all of the people up and down the river who support Clearwater also support their beliefs about the health of the river to offer a river to future generations that's in better condition than it is today. That's where Clearwater has been, but at this moment we're at a crossroads. We are trying to become something larger than just a river cleanup. Pete turns 90, as Clearwater turns 40, we have a great opportunity to make history again and develop some new programs that are three days, three weeks, that stay with young people as they grow older and help take that potential and that enthusiasm, make a difference, and really cultivate it. Sing it. We have a saying that it resonates in everything that Clearwater does, creating the next generation of environmental leaders. And we're focusing on making sure that that next generation of environmental leaders have the tools that they need to lead. For instance, Young Women at the Helm is a program that has shown that if you give young women from the inner city the right tools, not only do they lead, but they show by example how to make great things happen. We give the opportunity to take over the sloop and train them on how to be captains and crew and how to lead the educational programs of Clearwater. And they come out so energized to make a difference in their own communities. Sing it with us. Clearwater is ready. Right now, we are ready. We need a home port for our summer programs. We need a winter port to repair that boat and we need an endowment to make sure that that boat and its message sails forever. To watch 50 kids, 100 little hands grasping that rope, and to watch 
hundred eyes look to the sky as the sail rises. They see the sun and the sky and the clouds and the sail with their efforts offering them the freedom to sail the river. They're learning something by that, and that is clear water at that moment. It's the essence of clear water, that they can go anywhere they want on the river, and it's the idea that these kids can go anywhere they want in life if they work together, that together we can succeed. Oh, one more time. It's not a surprise that Pete Seeger doesn't hang out with a lot of old people. If you want to find him, go to a second grade class or a fourth grade class over at the Beacon Elementary School. That's where you'll find him. If you want to see Pete Seeger laugh, watch him sing with kids. He loves the next generation. He believes they are the legacy. Our ability to capture the imagination and the inspiration of those young people is the legacy that he has tried to leave. If you look at Pete's life, you see some of the best environmental work there is. Forty years ago, Pete realized that you needed to inspire people before anything would change and we'd get to clean up the Hudson River. That's a big part of the Clearwater formula still. Without the inspiration of the musicians and the cause musicians, it's hard to make things really change. We know we've got some big jobs ahead of us. We got to get to young people, and if we do our job right, we'll be raising a whole generation of people who realize that the world is in serious trouble if we don't solve some problems. A wide range of people have said, if there's a human race still here, it's not going to be saved by one big organization or one big slogan or one big anything. It's going to be saved by millions upon millions of little things. If we look around the country, the best ideas in the environmental movement now are not coming from the top, it's coming from the bottom up. This legacy project is about working with young people, our greatest resource, and giving them the tools they need at the highest level to change their environment and to lead the grassroots movement for the next generation of environmental leaders. Margaret Mead, the great anthropologist, said, never doubt that a few committed individuals can save the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. The agricultural revolution took thousands of years. The industrial revolution took hundreds of years. Now the information revolution is only taking decades. And if we use it, use the brains God gave us, who knows what miracles may happen in the next few years. Yeah.